Hi, grade 10 student. So in this video, we are going to do chapter one of term two. So this uh, question paper that I pick uh, is one of examination that was written around June in 2019. Okay. So this topic is all about credit transaction. Okay. So we are going to deal with debtors and creditors transaction. Okay. Let's look at the question paper that we have. Okay. It was question two and it's 40 marks. Time required is only 25 minutes. 2.1.1 List two advantage of the business when goods are sold on credit. If you sell goods on credit, it's like you are selling casco lot. Right? So now we have to give ex a, a advantage when we sell a, on credit. Number one, of course, we are going to have more, more sales. Because you will find or it's during the month, some people, they don't have cash, which means that they can come and borrow some goods. Okay, which means that our sales will be more. Okay. Then number two, you can say that um, a movement of stock, guys, like if you are a, you're selling like a, a product like bread you know that if you don't sell bread they are going to expire if you don't sell your eggs they are going to expire but if you you can give people on credit at least there will be a movement of of stock okay then the other one that you can also give guys uh, they said it allow the business to charge more offering uh, on this service and the other option here they say that um, more customers as they can purchase any time during the month is one that I was explaining more sales. So which means that many customers are going to purchase even during the month. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Two viral information to be checked before allowing credit. Okay, so before granting the credit, the business must obtain the correct address, the contact detail of the applicant. We can't just give a person on credit, guys. We have to collect. Where does this person come in from? Where does this person stay? Okay. Even the contact details so that if we didn't find this person, we are going to contact him. Now they said provide two other information that must be checked before allowing the customer to purchase on credit. Number one. Uh, we have to check employment history. We have to check employment history. Guys, we can't just sell to, to anybody. Some people, they are not working, which means that they won't be able to do what to pay. We have to check those who are, who are working. Okay, then the next one. We have to check how much does this person in. We have to check income of the person, guys. How much does this person in? Does this person qualify for a car if we are selling a car? Okay. And another one, a credit reference, a credit history. We have to check if this person borrow, does this person pay back? We have to check the history as well. And another one, we have to check a banking details. Okay. And the bank statement of this person. All right. Let's go to the next one. 2.1.3. One credit has been granted. How can the business ensure that the data pay their account in time? Let's say now we approve the person has purchased on credit. Now, what can we do so that this person can pay back in time? Number one, we have to make sure that we give them some special offer like if we say that if if you come and pay uh, before month's end we can give you more goods so it's a special offer okay and the other thing that we need to do we have to charge interest if the person is not paying in time we have to tell the person or when if you don't pay we are going to pay we are going to charge you interest we're going to charge you interest okay then another one uh, we have to make sure that we send reminder via SMS or email. 
we have to send a reminder to this person or when you haven't yet paid please make sure that you pay the amount okay moving to the next one 2.2 now the following data ledger account appear in the books of five traders now we are going to deal with our customer who purchased to us on credit okay data someone who purchased to us creditor is the one that we as we purchase on credit okay now we are starting with data they give us account uh, as you can see we have column of date detail folio debit credit and balance so data is an asset guys data increase on the debit and decrease on the credit the more is increasing which means that the data is owing us more but if he pay it's gonna be decreasing okay now 2.1.2.2.1 provide folio reference on the transition numbers on 7 and on 21st if you check on on 7 guys they didn't uh, tell us the detail of the transition okay the detail of, of the transition in this case uh, we're gonna call it number 2.2.1 is d a j 3 data allowance general why data allowance uh, general because if you check uh, under transition on, on 7 we have a credit note credit note is when a customer return a good okay then now let's check on 21st on 21st we have interest or receipt okay we have a credit amount of 50 rand okay they want a folio check counter folio okay what are we going to write general general gj3 in other words interest on overdue will call it under general general okay then 2.2.2 .2 .2, uh, they said provide detail on the transition of 10 on 10 is a receipt receipt like we receive payment from our our customer okay that's why even 4500 show on the credit side to indicate that he have paid okay 2.2.4 calculate the percentage discount granted when 4500 was received as you can see after 4500 we have amount of 225 simple means that it's a what it's a discount that has been granted okay how are we going to calculate uh this okay i think i uh, will skip okay this one is 2.2.4 2.2.4 is 225 divided by 4500 then we multiply by 100 which is going to give us five percent five percent okay let me verify here question in two point this one is still under two point okay this is g j3 and this one is a receipt okay 2.2.3 now they say that calculate the amount owed by f total on 1 september 2018. okay let's check amount on at the beginning at the beginning there was amount that was owing but they didn't give us it's very simple because we have the balance after they adjusted 4380 which means that before they added the balance of 4380 because it's on the debit side we have to reverse it in other words, we are going to say uh, amount of 17,490 minus 4,380 is going to give us 13,110. All right, just like that. Okay, now let's proceed. Uh, they said 2.2.5. Calculate, comment, no, not calculate, comment on the end three of interest on 21st and calculate the final balance okay on the 21st guys we charge interest to this customer but we record it on the credit is it correct no when we charge interest is going to increase the debt it's supposed to be on the debit 
Okay, so this is what we are going to do now. Uh, we are going to say uh, interest of 50 rand must be debited. Okay, and now we have to calculate a closing balance. We are going to take that 16,000 and we add because 50 rand is increasing a debt. Then we're going to get 16,000. And fifty. That's how you should do a credit under our data. Now we are going to a supplier site. Okay, let's first read the question. Complete incomplete creditors ledger amount of my rang supplier is provided. Okay, complete the account by filling in the missing detail. Okay, they give us uh, this table that I already draft and we have to read transition. Unsatisfactory goods purchased on 6 was returned on 14. Guys, when we talk about supplier, it's liability. And you know that liability increase on the credit and decrease this side, which means that it's minus and plus. Okay, now let's proceed. Um, they said that there are some un unsatisfactory uh, goods that was purchased on the 6th, okay, which was returned by 14, which means that we have to check how much goods that was purchased. When we purchase goods, it was increasing liability. So how are we going to uh, figure out this one? Okay, we need to do some calculation. So if you check, at the beginning we have a balance of 12,000 and it increased to 19,000. Now we have to find out how does this increase. This one minus this one is going to give you 6,840. You just take this one minus this one. It's going to give you the answer. Then on the 14. They said that some of the goods were returned. How are we going to calculate return? They didn't return all of them, guys. They returned a portion. How are we going to calculate a portion? This one minus this one is going to give you 1,800. Return reduce liability, guys, because you can't pay for goods that you have returned. Liability must go down. That's why we record it on the on the debit side. Okay. Now, moving to the next one. They said trading goods purchased on 25 was subjected to 5% discount and invoice total before the trade discount amount to 8,200. So before we go to the last one, guys, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also like the video. And also, please, guys, those who want to join us or join the journey of accounting, please, our extra class is only 60 rand per month. So the class we attend every Friday at half past seven at night. Okay. So the benefit of this class, guys, is, there, is that whenever that you have a question, we are going to assist you on WhatsApp only if you have joined our, our extra class. Okay, let's start together. Uh, if you want a distinction when you go to grade 12, it start now when you are in grade 10. Because guys, if you said you're going to start when you, we are in grade 12, without foundation of this accounting, you're going to have a serious problem. So please make sure that you do yourself a favor and join us. It's only 60 rand. You just need to speak to, uh, with your parents so that they can pay for you. Okay, now let's do the last one. This part. Okay, um, they said that the trading goods purchased on 25 was subject to 5% trade discount invoice total before a trading discount is 8,200. 8,200 before discount, which we need to multiply by uh, 
an amount of 95 over 100. Why 95 over 100? It is always 100 on top, but because there is a 5% discount, we said 100 minus 5, which is going to give us 95. And then the answer uh, will give you 7990. Okay, you have to get answer here first. This 7790 is gonna come here 7790. So 17,000 minus 75,500 is going back to 10,350. Now, because this one is on the debit, we are going to add. And it is going to give you 18,140. Very simple like that. So I hope you learned something in this video. Please go to Get 12 playlist and check the other videos for term 2. So that you can also learn other kind of questions. I'm going to see you on the next one.